Do you see that? I see him. Look at the little feet. Can we catch one? Yes. But we'll have to put it back. They're tadpoles. They're what? Tadpoles. Baby frogs. When they grow up, they'll be the big fat fellows you see sitting on the lily pads. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a chef. Oh, yeah? I bet I know what you're gonna cook. Peanut, Peanut butter, butter and honey, honey sandwiches. sandwiches. A feast for the birds. Will the birds eat that, too? That's so cute. Do you think we have enough peanut strings? We can always make more. The birds are gonna love us. What a great snack. Talking about snacks, I'm starving. We already ate our sandwiches. Yeah, but we never had dessert. Claudia, are you ever not hungry? <laughs> <laughs> I love this place. Yeah, me too. You know, when I used to go to camp and get homesick, I would love to stare up at the sky and imagine my mom and dad were staring at the same cloud. I felt so close to them, I never got homesick anymore. I like to think my mom's up there looking at me. I bet she is, Marianne. I bet she is. Hey, you guys, come look. Oh, poor baby. He must have fallen out of the tree. Where's his mommy? Well, maybe she's looking for him. He might be sick. We could take care of him and make him better. I don't think so. We better leave him alone. His mommy could be nearby, but is afraid to come close because we're here. What well, if she's flown away and left him here all alone? I know how you feel, Jamie, but sometimes it's better to let nature take its course. You mean let him die? Why can't we be his babysitters? Why don't we call the Parks Department? We could tell them exactly where our bird is and they can help. I bet my mom would know what to do. She knows the emergency number for people. Maybe she knows it for animals, too. That's a great idea, Charlotte. Let's go home and check right now, OK? Official to me. What do you think he's doing? I'll find out. What can they be doing? I don't know. I've never seen him before. Really. Wow. What do you think they're talking about? I don't know. What do you think could be going on? She looks upset. Something is definitely wrong. Uh -huh. They're going to build a road through here. What? That's what he said. They can't do that. What will happen to the birds? It'll be terrible. Let's not get too upset before we find out more information. Come on, John. We'll talk about it later. Come on. How can they just decide to build a road and ruin all those beautiful trees? It isn't fair. What about our pond? They're probably going to fill it up and turn it into a parking lot. Listen, you guys, we've got to do something. Like what? I don't know, but we can't just sit around crying about it. But how do we stop them? 
Hello, Babysitter's Club. Oh, hi, Mrs. Newton. How's Jamie? He wants to go back to the park to check on his bird. When do you need a sitter? Tuesday at 4.30. All right, we'll get right back to you. All he keeps talking about is that bird. Do you really think it'll survive? I don't know. I called the park. They have people called animal rehabilitators, so I told them exactly where the bird was. Jamie's mom said he keeps talking about our special place. It is a special place. And we're not going to let them spoil it. What are you thinking? Well, that guy said he was from the Department of Public Works, right? Right. Well, we're the public. What do you mean? We have a right to say what happens to public land. They're not going to listen to a bunch of kids. Who says? Come on, Don. Who are you kidding? I'm not kidding anybody. We have as much right as adults to say what we think. That doesn't mean they'll listen. We'll make them listen. <laughs> How are we going to read all this stuff before the hearing? We can skim it. It's a waste of time. They only gave it to us to stall us. What for? It's so like a build the road. They said the plans are already approved, but they're just having the hearing to give the public a chance to ask questions. The only way we're going to stop them is to organize. Organize who? Everybody. <laughs> That's easier said than done. Well, nobody said it was going to be easy. But we can do it, you guys. We can get the kids to sign a petition. Yeah, and we could pick it. Great, and we can make posters. And we can get all the kids to help. It's just going to be a good idea. Yeah. Hey, look, there's Logan. Remember playing hey, Logan. Who is that? David Cummings. <laughs> really cute. Don't you think? <laughs> yeah, I think. Come <laughs> on. I don't know. I just remember last time we played with this. Yeah. Hey, guys, what's happening? Nothing. We're just going to go get something to eat. Want to come? Ah, uh, no thanks. We've got a game. You all know David? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dawn Schaefer, David Cummins. Hi. Hi. You guys, if I don't get some food soon, I'm going to faint. Yeah, and we're already late. It was nice meeting you. Looks like Don's the one who's gonna faint. <laughs> I am not. It's okay. I think he likes you, too. You do? Yeah, it's kind of obvious. I mean, the two of you couldn't keep your eyes off each other. <laughs> well, we can't think about this now. We have too much to do. Come on, you guys, Come on. let's go. <laughs> I love blue. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Valerie. Good job. Good job, Jackie. You're so tired. Keep cutting. You're really good. This looks terrific. Let's put more trees in the background. Oh, I think it looks good the way it is. You don't want to make it too hard to read. What does it say? It says... Be good to the trees. They are our friends. Don wants us to make another one. Something a little stronger. Who wants to take a break and play a game? Me! Me! I do. Let's play Mother May I. OK, I'll be it. Everybody line up over there. Right, you guys, you know the rules. Whoever gets up to Jesse first gets to be it. Mother May I take two giant steps? No, you may not, but you may take five baby steps. Mother, may I take three run and leap steps? No, you may not, but you may take a big leapfrog hop. Ribbit? <laughs> Mother, may I run all the way up to you? Yeah, right, wise guy. I'll let you take, only because I'm such a kind person, four zigzag steps. Mother, may I have my helpers back? <laughs> Come on, you guys. Let's finish up this project, and then we'll get a snack. Oh, can you come here, Jackie? I want to try something on you. What is it? It's a tree costume for the demonstration. I don't okay. want to be a tree. I want to be a dog. Hold still. Woof, woof. I have to get the leaves right. It'll be fun to be a tree. Where have you guys been? We have so much to do. I'm sorry we're late. There was a line at the copier place. Uh, Dawn, guess who we bumped into? Can you give me a hand of this? 
You might have to find another tree. Jackie wants to be a dog. Listen, Dawn. And the placards need to be... Dawn! What? Marianne and Logan and Bart and I are meeting later. How can you make a date when we have all this stuff to do? It's okay, Dawn. We don't have to do this every second of the day. Yes, we do. We have a lot to organize. Then I guess you don't want to come. What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. It's just David Cummings asked specifically for you. What do you mean? He wanted us to ask you to come along. But never mind. She has too much else to do. Wait a minute. You guys don't know what I'm thinking. Oh, but we could guess. <laughs> no. <laughs> what I'm thinking is that we could ask the boys to help us with the demonstration. So you come along? Well, but only for the good cause. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure, <laughs> Don. <laughs> Okay, you guys, what do you think? These or these? I don't like the ones you have on. Yeah. You know, Logan tells me David's a really good baseball player. <laughs> he's in my math class. He's really smart, too. <laughs> and he's got a great sense of humor. And I heard he's a famous rock star and a brain surgeon, too. <laughs> <laughs> Don doesn't care whether they're smart or talented, just as long as they're so cute. Well, if we told him to come dressed like a tree, it would be love at first sight. Very funny, <laughs> Christy. I don't think you're taking this protest seriously. Of course we are, Don. We're taking it seriously. It's just sometimes you take it to the extreme. I am not. I'm just simply taking an active interest in my environment. There's nothing wrong with that. But... Oh, never mind. Why don't you wear your hair down, Dawn? It looks so pretty. What's wrong with this? Nothing. It looks fine. I think that's them. Come on, you guys. Let's go. What are you doing? You said you liked it better down. Just leave it. <sighs> now my hair's a mess. Why do I listen to you guys? Come on, Dawn. <laughs> Come on. Bart told me that he'd meet me there. Well, we better go so we don't Where miss him. Well, she? I, I, she's still up there. I... Go get her. John, come on! Just a second. What could she be doing? John! I'll be right down. Hi. Hi. What's this all about? Oh, we're organizing a big demonstration to stop the Department of Public Works from building a road through our park. You mean Flat Rock Brook Park? That's the one. Did you ever go there? Sure, I've been there a lot with the surveyors. The surveyors? Yeah, it's a great place. The road's gonna let a lot more people enjoy it. Uh, come on, you guys. We can talk about this later. Wait a minute. I don't understand. You think the road is a good thing? Oh, yeah. The way it is now, nobody gets to use the pond. Nobody? Well, I mean that... How do you know so much about this anyway? Because my mother's the commissioner of the... Of the Depart Department of Public Works? You mean she's the one behind all of this? Bart's probably wondering where we are. We're gonna miss the movie. I don't care about the movie. This is what I care about. I care about all the animals that aren't gonna have anywhere to go. Listen, I don't mean to upset you, but... Well, I am upset. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to go without me. Tell me why you are doing this. To save this park. Mm -hmm. But isn't it true that the commission wants more people to be able to enjoy this place? But does it have to be at the expense of the trees? What we're saying is it isn't fair for grown-ups to tell kids to recycle cans and bottles, to take showers instead of baths, not to waste or litter, and then go and cut down a bunch of trees. What we're trying to say is there are a lot of kids that are really worried about what happens to this earth. So we decided to do something about it. 
said one member of the Babysitter's Club, a group of young ecology-minded girls who organized oh, hey. the protest. Let me see. Oh, this picture looks great. <laughs> wow, we're famous. <laughs> Read it again. You guys, we don't have time for this. Don't have time for publicity? Come on, Don. Enjoy it while you can. Yeah, you don't on. understand, Claudia. We still have a lot to do for the hearing. It'll get done. You act like it's all up to you. But it seems like I'm the only one who cares. That's not true, Don. We all care. Yeah. Even David cares. Ooh. What are you bringing him up for? Because I think the way you acted was pretty rude. Rude? He's on the other side. It's not a question of size. You didn't even listen to what he had to say. His mother is the commissioner. But he's not. You didn't even give him a chance. I can't believe this. We have 24 hours to find a solution, and you're telling me I was rude to the commissioner's son? No, Don. We're telling you that he may know more than you think. I don't care what he knows. OK, Don. You handle it. Yeah, Don. You handle it. The last piece of business today is to discuss the Flat Rock Park project. And we have spent many months looking at various proposals uh, in order to find the best use of the wooded area, approximately 50 acres of land surrounding the pond. Although we have approved the preliminary plans for a road and adjacent parking lot and bathroom facilities, we would like to open the meeting for any discussions or questions or statements. I'm totally against this plan. Excuse me. Uh, could you state your name and your affiliation, please? My name is Dawn Schaefer. Uh, what do you mean, affiliation? Uh, do you represent anyone, any group? I'm a member of a group called the Babysitter's Club, and we formed an emergency organization to help save the trees in Flat Rock Brook Park. We don't believe it's right for the commission or anybody to destroy trees and wildlife. Well, that is certainly not our intention, and nothing will be destroyed. You call 12 trees nothing? Do you know how many trees are already cut down? Do you know how many animals are extinct? Everybody talks about global warming and air pollution. In school, we study about acid rain and the destruction of the ozone layer. And right here in our own town, some commission decides to build a road. It just isn't right. I appreciate your passion, Ms. Schaefer, but this plan will give more people the opportunity to enjoy the park more people to make more pollution and garbage? Excuse me, if you had studied this particular proposal, which I don't think you have, you would see that it includes facilities for garbage, sanitation, which will minimize pollution. Also, the access road is specifically designed to be accessible to the elderly and handicapped. Well, it still doesn't make it right for you to ruin what's already there. Thank you for your comments. So if nobody else has anything to say, I think that we should vote. All those in favor of the plan to build an access road near the pond, raise their hands. That makes it unanimous. You were right, Claudia. I was crazy to think they'd listen to a bunch of kids. I don't think that's the reason. What do you mean? Well, just listen to me for a minute, Don. I think your speech was really terrific and everything, and I never would have had the guts to do that. But you were against everything they said. You hadn't even read the proposal. But I am against the proposal. That's not the point. What Marianne is saying is that none of us came up with anything positive or constructive. Like what? I don't know, like some kind of alternative plan. A compromise. But that's like giving up. That's not true, Don. It's not all win or lose. That's your problem. You've got to learn to persuade, not just scream and yell. But they voted already. That doesn't mean they won't reconsider. They haven't cut the trees down yet. I don't know. Even if we do come up with something, how can we get it to them? What about David? What about him? That's a great idea. You go to David and see if he's willing to help. After the way I acted, if I was David, I wouldn't talk to me at all. I don't know. I saw him watching you all through the hearing. And he was nodding in a lot of what you said. He was? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, <Dad. laughs>
Hi. Hi. Thanks for coming. It's pretty good. Do you know how to do origami? I can make a bird and a boat. That's all I know how to do, too. I guess I can't even do that. It's a waste of paper anyways. Listen, David, I'm sorry I acted You don't have I... to apologize to me. I'm actually sorry that you lost your fight. You are? I'm surprised. I mean, I mean that's great. Because what I wanted to talk to you about is maybe I or we haven't lost the fight. What do you mean? Well, I finally did my homework. <laughs> You're not kidding. There's a park in California that was redesigned to provide natural access for the handicapped. Let me see. And they didn't have to build any additional roads? No, they used wooden plank walkways. But you don't want to lose the trees. I know. But here's one where they use packed dirt. But the best one, the one I know that will work for Flat Rock Brook Park, is this one. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, Claudia did the drawing, but everyone in the club helped me with the ideas. It is so simple. Now, we make a packed dirt road that winds around the trees. So all we have to do is make sure that it's at least 48 inches wide and we don't use wood to line it. What? It'll be cheaper than building a road. Why didn't you think of this before? Because I'm a jerk. Well, <laughs> a nice jerk that just gets a little too worked up. Actually, my mother was really impressed with your passion. She was? What did she say? That she could understand why I would want you as my friend. Well, how would you like to help a friend? <clears throat> what if this doesn't work? Don, stop worrying. I wish I didn't care so much. Look at how beautiful it is here. It's gonna be okay. I just know it. There they are. What is all this about? I knew you wouldn't come if I told you. Mrs. Cummings, it was my idea. I'm... I don't know what you want. And I have to tell you guys, I really don't appreciate being tricked into coming here. What is all this about? Mrs. Cummings, it's all my fault. You're not gonna believe this, but we're here because of something you said at the meeting. Something I said? Yes, you said you appreciated our passion. That made me realize that you really were listening. I just wasn't saying anything that was worth hearing. See, we were hoping that we could show you what we were thinking. What we're proposing is a path wide enough for the wheelchair, but small enough to control the traffic flow. That way, more people would be able to enjoy the park, but we wouldn't be destroying any trees. We could organize to raise the money. I, I don't doubt your ability to do that, Don. Girls, I have to tell you that I... I think this is actually very interesting. And I think it's worth having the commission reconsider the proposal. I am impressed with your persistence, Dawn, and your determination and your intelligence. This is very smart. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? I think I am starved. <laughs> Have as much as you'd like. <laughs> Come on, <let's> <laughs> No, oh. thanks. I'm still stuffed from yesterday's picnic. Oh. It was definitely a success. David's mother is really great. Mm -hmm. So is David. You know, even if our efforts don't pay off, something good certainly came out of all of this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Hello, Babysitter's Club. Oh, uh, sure. Hold on one moment. Don, it's for you. I think it's the commissioner. Hello? I'm fine, how are you? <laughs> They're fine, too. Yes. Sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes, I understand. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. What'd she say? So, 
Is it bad, Don? Oh, no. Well, tell us. Is it? What happened? She said that they're not going to cut down the tree. Yeah! 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 Oh, that's yeah! 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 And they said they liked our plan, and they wanted to talk to us about forming a youth committee for the city commission. <gasps> Only the animal rehabilitator can hold the bird. Well, what do you think of that right here? Okay. Do you think he'll like it here? I think he'll love it here. I'm glad he has a free place to live. Me too. <laughs> Hello to your friends, babysitter's club, say hello to the 